all the rain we've gotten everything is ice glad I got the studded tires good morning modern steaders now that's officially winter we've been in the 50s in rain look at all this mud and ice hey Pluto don't slip we had a lot of snow this fall and now that it's officially winter look at this we had a white Thanksgiving and we're gonna have a green Christmas oh man what an odd year It's not frozen. Everything just all swelled up. Oh man. Crazy. You gotta come out, Moose. I think the chickens are really liking that all the snow melted. Like we can walk around. I can't get over this. It's not even 7.30 yet and we already have four, yeah, four eggs. I guess the chickens are all excited that the winter solstice is here too. Bet you we'll use these eggs today when we're making dishes to bring to our Christmas parties. Yesterday we ended up getting, oh focus, just over an inch of rain and so far this morning. Oh. It's starting to rain again guys. We've had so much moisture this year, whether it's snow or rain or, I don't know. I know we're gonna have a muddy, muddy mess come springtime with the pasture over there and then all the work we did over there. Oh, <laughs> the yard's not gonna look too pretty this spring. Gotta be careful where we step. It's a lot of ice this morning. Oh, the goats are gonna be so happy. Look at all that grass. They're gonna love it. This is all ice right here. Hopefully it will melt down today. But ice is a great insulator, so it might stay for a little while. Good morning, girls. You have so much grass out here today, you can go run around in. But you won't, because it's raining, huh? Yeah, you won't, will you? Hey, we'll get you guys in the barn where it's dry. Hopefully it stops raining for you girls today. You can go outside and enjoy your pasture and enjoy your pen because all the snow's melted. You can't eat the camera. No, you can't. Hey! Willow, you're not supposed to eat theirs. Come on. You're going to have your own. No, Willow. Come on, Willow. You know what, guys? She still does smell a little bit like a male goat when you're standing above her. Not terrible, but she still smells. So we've gotten a few suggestions to figure out how she's pregnant. You can do a milk test. You can do a blood test. You can do an ultrasound. And then a couple of people have suggested going to the dollar store and buying a pregnancy test for a human, like a P1. I researched it and some people say it works, some people say it doesn't work. And then the other thing, how the heck would you get a goat to pee on a pregnancy test? 
I hope you're having a great Christmas Eve. I can't believe tomorrow for you, not for me, but for you, it's already Christmas. Ah, it's just crazy to think. And then sometime next week, we're going to be ringing in the new year. Man, 2018 went by so fast for us. 2018 was an awesome year. 2019 is going to be even better. <laughs> the things we can do, the things we can accomplish. I'm looking forward to 2019. I hope you are too. I'm going to go give the goats their hay. I'm going to leave you inside where it's nice and dry. The goats really don't care for the rain, but I like feeding them out here. They're undercover for the most part. To me, it kind of helps them get used to being out in the weather. But I bet they're going to love how much snow melted out here. We need to get the turkey out. Oh, I gotta remember where I put the turkey. Hmm. Here's the turkey. It was hiding on me. Stick it in the fridge. Let it thaw. All right, guys. On this episode of Baking with the Lumners, we're gonna start off with making a chocolate cake, and then we got some more deliciousness coming up. All right, need to preheat the oven to 350. Before I forget, I want to. my pans we're using a spray avocado oil yeah. we're gonna be making a chocolate cake so instead of flouring the tins with flour kind of coat it with chocolate Now this is my favorite cake recipe. Super easy too. My aunt used to make this all the time. I remember my dad asked him every time it was his birthday if she'd make it for him. You can make this gluten-free with gluten-free flour. Comes out just as good. We've made it quite a few times gluten-free. Use one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and baking powder. Three quarters of a cup of cocoa. Just give it a quick mix. If it's a little lumpy right now, it's all right. One of the steps we're gonna do is gonna take care of that. Fresh out of New York City this morning. Gonna need a half a cup of vegetable oil. We like using avocado oil and we bake I 
I get a new jar. We're going to need two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm going to stir it lightly. Perfect time and the oven is preheated. We need one cup of boiling water. Don't know what it is, but the cup of boiling water is like the magic trick. Hard parts, making sure we get it even. What do you make in Olivia? Cannoli dip. Cannoli dip? Like holy cannoli? Oh. One big blob. And then that goes in the back, the way you have it. You got one side hooked? Yeah. And you just kind of...
This is our excitement for the day. Watch and cannoli cream get all mixed up. Is it done yet? Does it smell good? Should I turn it on? Doing it? Yes. Wait, this one's stuck in the paddle. I love cannoli. Do I? Not like cannoli, but I like the, the middle. So. You like yes. the cannoli dip? Mm -hmm. And this one has a lot of chocolate chips. You don't like my chocolate weakness. chips. It's my weakness. Yes. It's yes. your kryptonite. I mean, I don't have a lot, but now if I know how to make this. Ah, we're in trouble. It's got to get refrigerated. Yeah. yeah. Look at the rain coming down. That's just crazy. Otherwise, you're probably gonna want to get the ketchup up yourself. You don't want ketchup? Wow. You're learning, you're learning. You think you get to try some of this cannoli dip? Yes. <sighs> it's too much. Maybe you can have cannoli chips with bacon. And you can't <laughs> eat over the bowl. There you go. <laughs> yeah, don't eat over the bowl. No. Yummy. Is it good? You can't double dip. You have to use a spoon. You girls ready to go to our first Christmas party? Yeah. yeah. You got the cannoli dip? Yes. You didn't forget it, did you? Oh, we might have ate it already. Don't eat it all on the ride up there. I'm trying to mess Okay. All the rain we've got and everything is ice. Glad I got the studded tires. Flooding going on. Yeah. yeah, it's a field with all the snow melt.
at all that ice. That's just crazy. It cracked and fell in. Wow. Just got back from my first Christmas party. That was fun. Went up to visit some of Gina's family. That road that we went through, that was a dirt road covered in quite a bit of ice, but I will say the studded snow tires we got made the trip quite fun. But it was a good adventurous trip. It was neat to see. That area we drove through is normally a marsh. I'll put a link to a video right here. When we went up there this fall before the leaves changed and I took drone shots of it so we got drones a drone aerial of that area it's a really neat area but it was all flooded out we warmed up what the last two days it's been in the 50s and rain and right now tonight it got below freezing but you can't see my breath I think it's like 22 degrees out right now Everything's even more icy, but we had a good trip. We had safe travels. It was fun. I hope you guys are having a great Christmas Eve. This has been an awesome year for us. We've accomplished so much, and a lot of that is because of you guys. So thank you. We appreciate all your support. And we're looking forward to 2019. 2018 ain't over with yet. The rest of the year is going to be an awesome year, and I hope you guys make it an awesome year. The cake we're going to finish up tomorrow. We're bringing that to another Christmas event that we're going to. I just wanted to get the cake cooked and make sure it was cooled down before I put the frosting on it. I like to rush and usually I'll cook the cake and then I'll make the frosting and I'll put the frosting on and the cake's still hot and it melts and makes a big old mess. So this year I'm trying to think ahead and maybe we'll have a little bit more of a prettier cake to eat and not just a delicious cake. Uh, we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow. Have a great Christmas Eve and have a great, great Christmas. But we'll see you on Christmas. Bye.